All right, everybody. Today we are going to take a look at this website called MiamiOnTheCheap.com, also known as South Florida on the Cheap. You can use this website to find activities and events for free or very affordable in Miami and the Miami-Dade area. I'm using a computer today. Essentially, look on my browser. I came to the search bar type Miami on the cheap.com and I was able to land into the page you are seeing right now. If you use a tablet or a smartphone, you can set up the page has a shortcut and you can refer to the option get our application. You will be able to add the South Florida on the cheap web app to your phone or mobile device, whether it's an Android or iPhone and iPad. And you do this by opening the browser of your choice, whether that is Chrome, Microsoft Edge, DotDogGo, Firefox. Once you open SouthFloridaOnTheCheap.com, even though the URL says MiamiOnTheCheap.com, the name of the portal is South Florida on the chip. Once you are in that website, you can refer to the three dots at the top of the page, similar to these ones right here. And you will find an option in your device that says add to home screen. In the case of an iPhone or iPad, you can launch the browser, which for Apple devices is Safari. Open South Florida on the chip .com, and you can bookmark the website. You can name it as you wish. That is the resemblance of having an application. It just so happened that you won't have to use your app store. You will have to create a shortcut in your device. With that being said, I went to get our app, but I will be using today this option right here, Miami date events. Before I go into that, you can notice that you can stand by and it will show you what is in there. So for instance, in attractions and museums, you have the attraction directory, entertainment and arts, you have music, movies, theater, Miami date art exhibits, Broward art exhibits, Palm Beach art exhibits. If I go to sports and recreation, you will have Miami-Dade fitness classes, Broward fitness classes, Palm Beach fitness classes. If I go to food and drink, you will have restaurant deals, happy hours. If I go to travel and hotels, I will have travel providers. If I go to shopping and deals, I have garage sale map and business directory. Things to do with kids doesn't have any drop down option. Events calendar has free and cheap events. Today's event, Miami Dade community calendar, Pro World community calendar, Palm Beach community calendar and add your event in case you want to promote your own event. In the option, always free places to go. You don't have any drop down menu. Miami date events doesn't have any drop down menus either. Broward events and Palm Beach events. And of course, you have a search magnifying glass that you can use to look for something specific if you already have the name of what you are looking for. Once I click in Miami date events, here's where I will be landing. And then I have this title, Miami date news and events with different activities that you can refer to if you are looking for something to do, whether that is dancing, activities with your family, outdoor activities, festivals, you have multiple options here. 
each of these options have a read more button, right? That button normally lights up when you stand by. If you are using a mouse from a computer, it will be similar if you are using a mobile device. It means that essentially once you click there, there will be more information to read. So if I were to click in here, for example, I have much more details of that particular event. So it will redirect me to more information. So here is the description. The company offering that service. If there is any need for registration, likely you will have a registration button such as is showing for me right now. The agenda, where do they take place? And you can scroll down and likely if there is a flyer promoting the event that will be displayed here. You can also see the RSVP, any worth mentioning information also will be included in the notes. For events that have a registration associated to them, you can use the registration button incorporated into the details of the event, such as this one right here. And when you click on it, it will refer you to the system you can use to register. So this one has been created in Eventbrite. And if you scroll down, you have an option that says, usually the price in this case is free. And also you have an option that says, get tickets. If you were to click in that option, then you can acquire the ticket for that event. Though the event is free, you have to have a ticket in order to participate. So you can add how many you need. And the last thing you need to do is just go to checkout. And then they will ask you for your contact information during the checkout part. And it's for them to email the tickets to you. You will need your first name, last name, and email address. Once you input that information, you can click in register. And eventually you will receive an email from them with further information. So I'm just going to leave this and I'm going to close this tab and I'm going back to the South Florida on the chip and using my Miami date events. So I went and show you how to register for this one. An example, if you want to register for any activities that require a registration in the future. Once you are in this page, that's how you do it. What I'm doing now is scrolling down to show you more options based on the free and cheap events happening in the area of Miami-Dade. They are usually listed by date. So here is the activities happening today, Tuesday. You can scroll down and then you'll have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on and so forth. On the right side, you also have things to do in Miami date. This calendar includes events at all price points, whether it's free or paid. If you have any events happening, you can also add these events to this calendar. And the way you navigate these is essentially by using this bar right here, starting from the current date all the way to older times. When that bar cannot be moved forward, if you click in see all events, it will be redirected to a new tab, such as it just happened for me. And you will be able to see more information about Miami-Dade community events. In this part, you will be able to see future events, such as it is here. 
this has been advertised with the Miami on the chip .com website. That is why they are displayed first. If you scroll down, you can see the events based on the date you are looking at the website. So today is Tuesday, September the 10th. And also it will use a location and how close to your location that is. You can change the information if you use the drop down menus that you have in here. So for instance, if I click in this arrow pointing downwards, I can choose from the current day to different ones. So if I were to the 12th as opposed to the 11th, I can see what is happening on that day, time, proximity, and so forth. If instead of using the designated location based on the location your device use, you can click in that X and then write down the area. In this case, I'm gonna use Miami date. You can hit enter or the magnifying glass in your keyboard if you use a mobile device and then it will show information accordingly. You can also reduce the distance. So at the moment I'm using 25 miles, but you can go to 15. And as you use these different filters, the information is gonna be personalized to your needs. And that is the Miami-Dade Community Events Calendar. From this area, you also can access other functions such as the actions on the right side. So you have an option called find deals by category and you can use the drop down menu to find whatever you are looking for. So you can go from always free to winter holidays and anything in between. They are organized in alphabetical order. And in this particular case, I will continue with Miami Dade. I will be using this filter that says Miami Dade cities. Click on that and then it will redirect me to the new space. So here I have much more information credited with Miami-Dade cities. So this is Coral Gables. So if I were to click in read more, I can also know a little bit more about the city, population, what is known for history and things of that nature. So as I scroll down, I can find things that I can explore. So for instance, the Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden. I can also explore the Venetian pool. This historic pool is a must see attraction in Coral Gables. So you have plenty of options. And towards the end, you will find any other upcoming free and cheap events happening within the area. Similar to what we have been seeing, they are organized based on the date. So here is September the 13th, 14, 15, and so forth. To see any of them, you simply can click on it and it will redirect you to a new tab where you can see details about that event. So this event is free live music at Books and Books. This is one of Miami's most iconic independent bookstores. Their courtyard is also a great spot for listening to live music. And you can catch 
live music in the outdoor, likely on Fridays and Saturdays from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., depending on the weather, of course. You can sign up for the Daily Miami on the Chip Newsletter and also follow them on Facebook and Instagram if you are a social media user. If you want to sign up for the newsletter, notice how when I stand by with my mouse, it will change the color, meaning there is a link associated to this function. I can just click on it. It will redirect me and open a new tab where it will show me how I can sign up for a free subscription to Miami, South Florida on the chip. Here it will ask for your email address and a code that you need to replicate. And once you have gone through each of these options, you can click in subscribe me. And that is everything for today. I hope that you get to explore this page in the future. Thank you so much for listening.